What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Dylan Talks Tone. Today, we're going to ask a bit of a triggering question. Uh, if Jimi Hendrix was alive today, would he play a Silver Sky? I think he would. I think that Jimi Hendrix was pretty innovative. I think he would use a Kemper. I think he would play anything new and modern. I don't think he would be one of those, oh, it's only vintage. I mean, you know, whatever. Anyway, so... The reason we're bringing that up is, well, I have this one, but Jimi Hendrix couldn't play that one. So I also have this one. This is uh, somebody local to me, and uh, normally we don't work on people's guitars, but he asked me to do this, and I thought it would be kind of a fun little video. We're going to, first of all, put a set of our Dylan Talks Tone single coils in it. And uh, which you've heard on the channel before. And we are going to, I've got another nut. We're going to cut it backwards because he's left handed. And so we are going to Jimi Hendrix this Silver Sky today. All right, so let's set some expectations for this video so that folks don't get in the comments. And uh, well, they're going to get in the comments and do whatever they want, but uh, it's a kind of a wild ride down there. There's not going to be a demo of this guitar in this video because I'm left-handed, but I don't play left-handed. So I won't be able to play this guitar once it's done. If you want to hear these pickups, you can go to the website, Dylan Talks Tone. You can listen to them on the link that's there because we've demoed these pickups many times on this channel. Um, I will be doing probably a time-lapse and then we will kind of cut in and I'll show you a couple of key things that we're doing on this particular project as we go so that you can see a lefty silver sky. What would Jimi Hendrix play? Before we get into it and all the time lapse and all that stuff, I want to thank my Patreon supporters and the YouTube join folks that have joined the little thing down there. Um, I appreciate your support because we don't do a lot of demos and stuff because we don't get a lot of free stuff. Um, we make videos for you, not for the industry. And so, you know, we don't get a lot of free stuff. So we use that money to buy stuff for demos and to support the channel. So thank you so much for that. Uh, you can click the link below and see what we've got available for perks and stuff. Uh, also, there's a bunch of links down there. Uh, people make fun of my shorts. Thanks to 511 Tactical for the shorts. There's a link to that. There's also a link to some cables. There's a link to uh, Sweetwater. All those things support the channel as well. Let's go ahead. Oh, and of course, Dylan Talks Tone, where you can buy pickups. Let's go ahead and uh, very speedily take this guitar. All right, so pick guard off. Let's bust in here and I'm gonna show you a couple of interesting things about the PRS wiring while we're in here. Um, basically, it's pretty normal Strat stuff, but there's a resistor between the um, output of the volume pot and the and ground, which is interesting. Um, probably to make it a 330 style pot. I'm not really sure. It's not a volume mod in the normal sense of the word because there's no capacitor. This does have like the tapered magnets, which is what we do, or the radius magnets. We do the same thing. Um, you notice they're not different lengths. They just stick out the bottom. One of the things that's interesting too is when you, um, Look at the pickups, so black, red, black, red, black, red, but the middle one is actually hooked up backwards, even though the polarity is reverse wound, reverse polarity. Normally, the wiring would stay the same. You would hook up the leads backwards on this pickup, but they did not do that. So that's an interesting concept that I've never... I don't know if I noticed that when I had one of these apart before. And then they've got this weird tie-together shielding thing, which is kind of funny also.
pickups installed, ready to go back in. RA5 for the Silver Sky SE only. So one of the things people wonder is, is are they interchangeable? The route on the American Silver Sky has a different pickup route. And so we have a different model of Silver Sky pickups for the American one. They're the same wide and everything, but the construction is different because you can't fit them in there. So there's your route for it. It's kind of funny how the neck pocket, this is, I love this because people make a huge deal out of, oh, the neck pocket has to be so tight that you have to pound it in with a hammer because tone, bro. And there isn't even the end of a neck pocket on this guitar. And it's fine. All right, so the key to flipping this thing over and making it Hendrix is we gotta pop this nut and because of the taper of it, we're gonna have to cut a whole new one. So I basically just bought a Gibson Les Paul nut um, that we're gonna start with because that's, eh, the dimensions are close enough and we can, with files and sandpaper, get it down to the same, get it down to the same thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use files and sandpaper and get it down to basically the same kind of dimensions, only backwards with the taper going the wrong way. And then uh, we'll take, once I take this off, then we'll take them and we'll put it face to face like this. And then we'll use nut files to get the spacing right. Um, so that when we flip it around, then the low E will be over here, but the string spacing will be correct. So we'll get this thing popped out and uh, see what happens. Hopefully I don't break it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is basically, this is gonna set on a flat surface and I'm gonna just trace this face to face and that'll get the opposite shape that we need to get. And then we will flip it around and it'll be faced the right way for a lefty. All right, so I got my basic shape traced eh, loosely on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a flat piece of sandpaper on the table to go ahead and shape it. Facsimile. It's not 100% exact, but once it gets in the guitar, it will be that. And of course, we did it face to face so that when it's in the guitar, it's facing the right way with the fat side going the opposite direction. I'll give that a little final shape once it's in there, and we'll finalize the length once I get it actually fit to the neck. But that gets us, that gets us pretty close. I hate bone. Nobody should use bone nuts in 2023. This is ridiculous. All right, so we got the dry fit in there. And then what we can do is we can just back our nut up to it and use that with a nut file to make the slots line up, which would be no big deal. In fact, I might actually just put it in a vise and do that ahead of time before we stick it in there. All right, so basically I just lined these up and put them in here. Uh, this is not high precision stuff. What we're just trying to do is um, get the nut marked so that the spacing on the strings is correct. All right, that actually looks really good. String spacing looks good. Nut on the end. Once I get it in here, I'm gonna kind of, this peg head has a little curve on the end of it that's not normal. So I'll probably take a file and just make that a little bit nicer when we're done. But we need to glue that dude in. Now, when you glue a nut in, you don't need to put a whole friggin' bead of super glue across the top of here. Just a little dot right there and a little dot right there. That's it. You do this too much and the dang thing will never come out of there or it'll come out of there in pieces if you ever have to take it out. Kind of wedges between there and the uh, 
truss rod cover. Make sure it's all the way down and fit against. I like the, the, the way PRS does this with a little shelf of rosewood underneath there instead of doing it straight onto the maple. It's kind of cool. All right. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put backward strings on this guitar and then we'll talk about cutting the nut height. Well, there we go. The backwards Silver Sky. Hendrix's Silver Sky. So um, we've got our set of pickups in there. Uh, the Dylan Talks Tone Silver Sky pickups, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we went ahead and custom cut that nut that you saw. We put string joy strings on it, and then we went through a full setup. Um, in order to do the setup, um, you know, to cut the nuts and stuff, we used the uh, Stumac nut files and backers. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're ever going to do, mm, I don't know, more than two or three setups on a guitar, go ahead and just buy this stuff. Um, they are, prices are coming down on stuff actually. Lifetime warranty, they work really good. And I like these little backer things. It makes it really easy to hold on to the file. And then the other tool that I really, really enjoy now is their digital dial indicator for doing string height and nut height. Uh, super valuable tool. We have individual videos on all this stuff to teach you how to use it and whatever. But we did use that stuff today, threw some string joy strings on it. Uh, link to those in the description as well, as well as to the guitar itself. So um, obviously I can't play backwards, so there's no way for me to be able to give you a before and after, but I am sure that the gentleman who owns this guitar is going to dig it. So, thanks for hanging out, everybody. We made a backwards Silver Sky. It's been kind of fun. It's kind of funny, too, with the 3x3 peg head, it made it, like, super easy to do because, you know, it's the same but backwards. So, there you go. Uh, I did have to, when I set the intonation, we did have to kind of remeasure the scale length on the other side and then refigure the bridge backwards. So, that's all done. And it's all intonated and string height and neck relief and all that stuff and hopefully the gentleman who plays this guitar on a daily basis is going to enjoy it very much. I guess we will see you in the next video. Make sure you hit and like and subscribe and the bell and all those things and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.